guys welcome back to another vlog it is Tuesday and it is baby day the baby's coming so soon um, I was supposed to go in for seven tonight at the hospital and they just called and asked me to come in at 4 30 and that's like literally in an hour so I'm mini panicking because I had this whole laid out plan luckily I already did my hair and makeup I didn't really need to do it but I did it um, so in this dress, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I tried to take a last bump photo, but we're just getting everything together. I'm eating mac and cheese, Trader Joe's mac and cheese before we go in. And yeah, we're having a baby, which is crazy. Scott's going to be vlogging, hopefully this entire thing. Um, so we'll try and get as much footage as we can, but yeah, we're having a little baby boy. How do you feel, sweets? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel nervous? Feel Come here. Rushed, I feel rushed too. It's a rushed thing. It's definitely rushed, um, but it's fine. It's gonna be great. Most people go into hospitals and their water breaks, and you know, then it's really rushed. At least we prepped some, you know. Yeah. So pretty soon we will have a new little baby here. And I know this is probably the most put together I will look over the next few days. I am being induced, and if you guys don't know the reasoning, then check out my last vlog because I explain why I'm being induced, but I'm exactly 37 weeks, and we are going to have this baby. So here we go, and I'm also not nervous. I'm sure that will change, but right now, I'm cool, calm, and collected. I just feel a little rushed. Other than that, I feel good. Okay, you guys, we have made it to our room. It's actually way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought we were gonna be in like the triage for a while for like the beginning stages of like induction, but this is where I'm gonna have a baby, okay? And the baby's gonna go, I can't even stand this. The baby's gonna go on here. Oh my God. We'll be able to see the contractions. I think Scott's gonna have to sleep on there because there's no couch, but I think that pulls out. It looks like that's your bed, babe, but it, it pulls out. Yeah. We got a pretty spacious room, huh? That's and then we have a bathroom, so let's see how this is. Standard bathroom. Oh, thank God there's a shower. Okay, well, you know, the room's really big. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to change and pee in a cup, so that's my first step. The floors were just clean. You want to take over? No, I'm not going to say much. I did a tour, but... Tell how you feel, babe. How do I feel? Baby. Are you ready to have a baby? We didn't do the baby mama dance. Yeah, I'm not much of a dancer. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm excited, so too. I feel like we're going on vacation. It's also... a baby instead of a tan. It's a very... It's, unknown, it's a, like an unknown process, so it feels weird. Yeah. Kinda. You can take your mask off once nobody's in here. Just don't drop it. <laughs> don't drop that and don't drop the baby. I don't know what to say. Tell them how you feel. I feel, I am nervous, excited. I don't know. I'm having a baby boy in the next couple of days. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It could take a while. I have to slow down my breathing because it was 152 in the car, so we just need to calm down a little bit. Calm it down. But I gotta go pee in a cup. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, babe? Babe, the volume is so high on this TV that sounds like coming through the 1940s. The baby's heart's going up high. What's going on? What's going on is I'm hooked up to this. I'm wearing underwear like this and I don't know I'm in distress so they gave you the first thing to they gave me cervidil it wasn't a pleasant experience I'll tell you that it wasn't but it's fine now it's fine we're doing great what time is it it's nine o'clock we ordered wings <laughs> I can still eat so we're getting wings, but I want to wash my face because my face feels dirty. 
my hair. I need to brush it. I looked so much cuter earlier. You still look cute. Thanks, babe. I feel like a big buffalo. <laughs> what else? I'm zero. I'm zero centimeters dilated. I'm completely closed up. So it might be a long journey ahead. But you are having contractions. I'm having contractions every two to three minutes, so yeah. That's the contraction number and the heartbeat of the baby. I'm not having any contractions right now. Not at the moment. And these lines are the contractions. Back here, there's one. What else? That's all, that's all. That's the update. That's the update for now. It's nine o'clock on a Tuesday night. This baby is estimated, I'm, I'm guessing Thursday. I'm not gonna guess tomorrow. Ow, and this freaking hurts. This is the worst. Hi guys, time for an update. It is Wednesday and last night was terrible. I was having consistent contractions all night long. Like they did not end or stop. Um, I did get Cervidil inserted up me and it was just bringing on really strong contractions but it wasn't dilated at all. Um, and I ended up getting morphine at like 4 a.m. And I think it helped a tiny bit, but not that much. So, um, and then we woke up this morning, the Cervidil was taken out and it's still not dilated. So I feel kind of defeated. Um, I'm still getting contractions. I'm currently hooked, hooked up. But as you can see, well actually I don't know if you can see, but let me zoom you in there. I'm getting contractions like every two minutes. They're not terrible. They were way worse last night. But, um, definitely did not sleep. I had like 30 minutes of sleep, maybe, max, last night. So I'm tired. I'm swollen. And, yeah, that's the update. How do you feel, sweet? Long journey. Thanks, babe. I know, I wish I was stronger, honestly. I feel like I came in and I thought I was gonna be stronger, but um, they're definitely painful, for sure. They're painful, babe. Um, bef last night, my numbers were spiking really high for like the contraction number. It's been averaging around like 30 to 40 for the spiking number right now, but last night was a tough one. But yeah, that's the update, no baby. Probably will be a few days. It is Friday morning, the sun's coming up. I didn't talk to you guys all day yesterday. I will explain that in a labor and delivery story perhaps. Um, but I'm laying here, I am about to have a C-section in like 20 minutes. I'm hooked up to an IV, getting some fluids in, and I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Um, let me flip you around. Hopefully, I'm gonna have Scott open these for me. Yesterday was kind of a traumatic day, but it's Friday and I'm just going to fill you in real quick because I'm about to get a C-section in like 20 minutes. And I'm very nervous. Um, but this is what's best. And I'm just gonna sit and tell you that I have a, I have a small pelvis, so apparently and it doesn't look like any babies would be coming out of that way, regardless. Um, so we're having a C-section. But on top of that, you're not dilated. On top of that, I'm not dilated. And yeah, they tried everything, basically. Um, I know I'm early, 37 weeks. But when it comes down to it, even if I were to try to get dilated, the baby probably wouldn't be able to come out anyway through my pelvis. So that's the update and yeah, we are ready. I think I have to put my hair up in like a net, but ready to meet the baby.
I'm so like swollen or like just not good looking right now. You look good. I look yeah, terrible. It looks like I was wearing my makeup for five weeks and I went clubbing every single night out of those five weeks. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll talk to you once baby's here. Okay, so it's later in the day. I'm, I'm swollen. Ow, and I'm in pain. After the C-section, I'm... Did we tell them you were having a C-section? Yeah, I told them. And I'm trying to, like, get up and get moving as quick as possible, but... She got up. She's doing good. She's zipping around. Yeah. Not too good. You don't want to move in too much, but... No, well, it definitely hurts. the more the better, right? That's what they said. Yeah. But, but we have a new member of our family. So, oh my goodness. Here he is. Oh my goodness. Can we move him closer to the light? I can't even stand him. So this is Oakley James. He's so sweet. He's so good. He hasn't even cried. Oh. He did when he came out. But yeah, he cried when he came out and that was it. And a little couple of screams when he had his immuni immunizations. Mm -hmm. He has like very, very light, like almost non-existent brows. And then he has, hopefully he doesn't hate me doing this. He has curly blonde hair. It's kind of hard to see. It's like a dark blonde, I would say. Oh my goodness. So he doesn't have too much of it, but I'm so sorry, baby. And he's like, oh, it's okay. That was mommy's fault. He's so cute. His little button nose. He has Scott's lips. And I think he's just the cutest. So, just wanted to introduce you. Oh. That was the drawer. And we just got in our um, postpartum recovery room. We actually had a small, small room, and now it's um, much bigger. But yeah, I'm just gonna stare at him for the rest of the night. And. You gotta get some rest too. Yeah, gotta get some rest. But show them that I can walk because. Oh my goodness. I definitely still look pregnant. Um, it looks like I'm six months pregnant. So. That's not true. There's that. But I can walk. All right. That's all I'm gonna do. Nothing fancy. I'm just gonna stare at him because it still seems surreal. It, it does. It doesn't seem like. <laughs> I me. thought having the baby would make it nine months real. of it not feeling real feel real, but it's it's, it's weird, but it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Little baby Oakley. Just took some pictures of him. It's Saturday. I think we get to leave tomorrow if all goes well. But he's wearing the cutest little swaddle. But then we double wrapped him because he seemed like he was cold. But he's so cute and he makes the cutest little baby noises. Yeah, because the swaddles they have here are thicker than the one, the stretchy one that we had. Yeah. The stretchy ones are nice because you can get them tight, but these ones are much warmer. Yeah. So I had to double wrap. Scott does a good job at swaddling. I'm still, I'm wearing a robe right now, but I am still um, like hobbling around. It actually hurts pretty decently to walk. But I could just stare at him all day. And all he does is sleep. He slept all last night and we had to wake him up. Oh my goodness, are you cold, baby? I can't tell if he's cold. That's gonna go away, him sleeping like that. Yeah, for sure. Taking the baby home. Finally, almost after a whole week. He's got a little hat and a little green outfit and he's gonna meet his big brother, Teddy. And he's snuggled in and I am in pain. I'm sitting in the back, I've got two binders on. My legs are swollen. Like really swollen. Like nothing even fits my feet right now. And in the back. You gotta get your feet up when we get back. Yeah. I have uh, I still have a stomach. 
It's not massive, it's like a six month stomach, I would say. But let's not look at that, let's just look at this little face. So sweet. How's he doing? He's doing good. Hey you guys, we just got home. I'm feeling honestly completely out of it. Um, I feel really dizzy and tired. Um, but there's the baby, he's about to meet his big brother. I really wanted to vlog it, but I'm also like so nervous. Are you waking up, mister? <laughs> I'm also really nervous. I almost started crying because I'm just scared that Teddy's not gonna like him. Um, but we have some nice things that were waiting for us. Ooh, this is nice and hot. Hand sanitizing wipes. I'm so swollen. I got a lot of packages while I was gone. Some flowers. Okay, I haven't had medicine in like, like actual medicine in 48 hours and I feel like I need medicine. But he's about to meet his big brother. Oh. This is making me s sad and scared. Okay. And look at how swollen I am right now. This is not good. I gotta get out of these pants. Baby Oakley. I decided to put him up here because I don't want Teddy to like jump up. So, oh, was that a little smile? Oh, sweet boy. Oh my goodness. I gotta trim his nails because his nails are so long. Hmm. We don't want you to scratch your face, baby. Oh my god, I literally just thought he had six fingers. I'm losing it. This is what no sleep does to you. Literal no sleep. Oh my god, is he coming? Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Thirsty? Oh, Teddy, we have something for you. Give him a second. Hi, are you in shock? Teddy, come here. Come here. Was he excited to see you? Yeah, he's wild. Okay, be Daddy. careful. Be careful. Okay, this is your baby brother. Okay. Teddy. What did, did you did you show him the hat? Yeah. He didn't like it. He tried to snag it. <gasps> okay. Come here. Look at Teddy. This? Look. Look at. You got to be very careful, Teddy. Look. There's a baby. Do you oh. see? It's, it's a baby. baby. Gen Teddy. Be gentle. Teddy, you have to be gentle. Gentle. Take this collar off. Why do you look so raggedy? Raggedy Ann. Can you see who's in there, Teddy? Okay, it's a baby. It's Can a baby. Can you see that's your baby brother? <laughs> yeah. This is your baby. Careful. 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 It's not a toy, though. You've been hearing about him for many months. Okay. I'm, I'm nervous. I have him. Okay. That's your baby. You can smell him. Teddy, gentle. You can smell him. Good boy. Very gentle. Oh, you were nervous. That's you can part smell of our him. Family, Teddy. Okay. That's your new brother. Are you all right with that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't look like it's a snack, okay? It's not a snack. We're home, baby. <laughs> Teddy's being the biggest protector, right? Yes. That's your baby brother. Nice and gentle. Good boy. It's like he's waiting for me to tell him, like, okay, take a little bite. <laughs> no. And we have Oakley. He's awake. Just had his first doctor's appointment this yeah. morning. Yeah, our first outing as a family. Of course, it's the coldest and windiest day. Yeah, cooled down quite a bit. 19 degrees, but it says it feels like one degree out. So definitely chilly. Um, what else? This place is a little disaster, but it's okay because we're gonna tag team it. Yeah, yeah. What? Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Um, and I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm starving right now. So that's the plan. Also, Oakley is so big, I mean so little, that he doesn't fit in like any of his clothes. So, um, 
like, yeah, you want to smell this? So I had to just get some of these little zippies. And we're going to wash these so he can fit in something. And now I'm going to have something for lunch. Hi, guys. It is the next day. So we've been home. This is day two or three. They're all starting to mesh together. But um, everything is going great. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm taking it day by day. But it does still hurt to, like, walk around. Um, so I have to take things slow. And I'm still very swollen, which is the main reason why I can't walk around. But things are going great with baby. He's sleeping good. And I just can't stop staring at him. And Teddy is now obsessed with him. Like, he won't leave his side. Um, I know you want to see him, baby. But he's sleeping right now. You have to wait until he wakes up. Okay? You gotta wait. I know. But he's sleeping right now. Baby, I can't pick you up. You know why? Because they told me I can't pick up anything heavier than the baby. And you're seven pounds heavier. I'm sorry. Sweets. Babe, can you help me real quick? Here he comes. Can you just pick up Teddy real quick? Because he's crying to see him. He just wants to see him make sure he's okay. All right. See, he's fine. He's still there. Don't touch his face. Very good. So sweet. See, he's fine. All right. Thanks, babe. Okay, and then we also, we just got edible arrangements from Lindsay. My aunt also sent edible arrangements, but those are gone. Those were gone yesterday. So these are delicious. They're so big. Um, so I'm just going to have these. And I think I'm going to end my vlog now. So I hope you guys enjoyed my labor and delivery vlog. Sweet puffin. I'm definitely going to do a labor and delivery story if that's something you guys are interested in because I feel like my labor and delivery was kind of crazy. Um, definitely fa failed induction and then a C-section. So um, I will be doing that for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.